Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here, and today we're going to be installing some Linux applications into our freshly installed Ubuntu uh, Linux on the Acer C7 Chromebook. Hopefully you watched my previous videos and you were successful in installing Crouton. And so I'm running 13.04 with the Cinnamon desktop environment. And so uh, the first things first, we need to start up our terminal. So when you go to the bottom menu button here, and you type in terminal they have something called UX term or X term uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just use X term the first thing we're going to do is we're going to update so we need to do sudo space apt dash get space update Right. When you press that, enter on there, you're going to type in your password that you created when you first installed. And then this is going to go ahead and download and install. Alright, so now that that's finished, we're going to go ahead and install the software center. And we'll type in sudo space apt dash get space install space software dash center press enter and it's going to ask you do you want to proceed we're going to say yes it's going to take about 107 megabytes so depending on your internet connection as always uh, it's going to determine the time and we'll be back when this is done okay so now that the installation for the Ubuntu software center is complete we can go ahead and do a search for it and start it up just to make sure that everything is working properly we're even going to go into the search and look for the Ubuntu restricted software package right so when you type in uh, Ubuntu restricted it'll come up with uh, the Ubuntu restricted extras here so you go ahead and click on that and you can click on install and it will download and install you have to authenticate and pretty much this has commonly used uh, applications with restricted copyrights like mp3 codex, avi codex, mpeg, truetype, java, flash codex and all of that stuff you can click on the progress tab here and it'll tell you uh, what the progress is for installing the extras. Alright, you may get a pop-up here that you have to agree to. Okay, so Ubuntu Extras has finished installing and so now I'm going to show you how to install the Chrome browser. This particular install already has the Chromium web browser but uh, I'm just going to show you how to download the more traditional uh, stock Chrome browser for Linux. Alright, so once it starts up here, you can just type in Chrome browser download. And you click on the first link here, and you click on download Chrome and we're gonna do the uh, we have to do the 32-bit Debian Ubuntu accept then we're going to keep alright so once it's finished downloading you can go to the bottom left here and open up your files folder then we're gonna go to downloads and here's the Google Chrome deb file that we uh, download installed and you can just double click on it it's going to open up the Ubuntu Software Center and then you click on install authenticate and now it's going to install the Chrome browser alright so now that the installation has completed you can go to menu and now you'll see that you have a newly installed Google Chrome app moving on to installing Skype you're going to start up the internet 
and look for Skype for Linux. You can click on the very first link here and then you'll choose your distribution which is Ubuntu and you can choose uh, 12.04 then click on keep back to your downloads folder here double click on Skype for Ubuntu and you click on install and of course authenticate alright so now that the installation is complete you can go to internet click on Skype agree to the terms of use and here we have Skype uh, I don't have a Skype account so I don't really want to start one up just to test this out but if you try it out please leave a comment uh, to let me know if this worked or not and now we're going to install LibreOffice and it's a uh, kind of a long process to do and so the first thing we do is uh, add the repository so we do sudo space add dash apt dash repository space ppa colon libre office forward slash LibreOffice dash four dash one. That's the latest version right now. And you press enter. Authenticate. Press enter to continue. And then now we're going to sudo space apt get space update this pretty much prepares your entire system all right and so once this is finished we're going to type in sudo apt dash get space install space libre office right and then it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to continue and you press yes and this is pretty much gonna install the entire suite of LibreOffice alright so now that LibreOffice is finished installing if you go to the menu here and you go to office you now have all of the office programs here so for example writer is the uh, word processing program and this should be able to open up uh, word documents and whatnot and so that's the whole suite there. I don't really know how to install only individual programs, but if you do a Google search for how to install individual um, products, uh, you can do that. Next, I'm going to install something called Rhythmbox, and that's because I wasn't able to properly configure or get iTunes working, so this is an alternative to it. And the first thing we have to do is add a repository, and that is sudo space add dash apt dash repository space ppa colon web upd8 team forward slash rhythm box then you authenticate press enter and then you gotta do a sudo app get update okay and so once that's done we type in sudo app get install rhythm box Press yes to continue. 
Okay, so now we're going to install some plugins for Rhythmbox, and we have to add a repository for that, so it's sudo space add app repository space ppa colon FOSS freedom F O S S freedom forward slash rhythm box plugins press enter enter to continue then you want to type in sudo app get update and now we're going to sudo app get install rhythm box plugins complete alright so now that everything's installed we can go ahead and do a search for rhythm box and start this up and so here is the rhythm box program that's supposed to be very much like uh, iTunes obviously you won't be able to uh, visit the iTunes store and download and purchase music through here but you should be able to uh, connect your iOS device and manage the songs download and upload uh, songs onto your device. Unfortunately, I don't have this um, an iOS device on me. So if you try this out, uh, please leave a comment to let us know uh, that it works. All right. So even though we installed the Ubuntu restricted extras, uh, that should already include Java as well as a Flash Player plugin. I'm going to show you how to manually do or install both of those. And so to install Flash Player, you type in sudo space apt dash get space install space flash plugin dash installer and then it's going to ask for a password and you got to type in the correct password and uh on my computer it says it's already installed and I don't need to install it again but if you wanted to update for example uh, to the latest version uh, and you know a new version came out then you would type in this command to update that and then next we're going to uh, add Java on here and so to do that you type in sudo space add dash apt dash repository space ppa colon web web upd8 team forward slash java and you press enter and it's going to ask you are you sure you want to do this you press enter to continue And that's pretty much it. Now we're going to actually download and install Java, specifically uh, Java 7. And so you type in sudo space apt dash get space update space and and space sudo space apt dash get space install space oracle dash java 7 dash installer and so if you wanted to install a different version other than 7 you would just type in Java 6 or Java 7 or Java 8 and that's uh, what's out right now I'm gonna do 7 just to be on the safe side um, because I think 8 is very new and probably might have some bugs to it so once you type in that key that uh, command you press in enter the Java installation may ask you that you need to download uh, and install some more packets so uh, press yes to continue and then enter 
And then now it's gonna ask for a license agreement. So just go ahead and press enter. And then arrow over to yes, press enter again. All right, so now that Java is finished installing, we can now go and look for the long awaited Minecraft install. All right, so you go to the main website's download page here, and for those of you who are Minecraft players, you guys already all know this. And we're gonna go ahead and click on download minecraft.jar, go to keep, just go ahead and show in the folder. All right, and so once the downloads folder is open, you should just go ahead and double click on the Minecraft launcher. And that's all you really need to do to start this up. You're gonna log in. All right, and uh, I don't really have an account. I don't play this game, but I have um, some demo account here. And so here is Minecraft. Now I can't really vouch and say how well this game works or how fast it is or what the frame rate is. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to be so great, but I do hear the CPU fan going and it's probably uh, working it and so here are the video settings I'm not sure how to really uh, set this but it apparently it's on fancy and uh, seem to be running okay I guess alright it's enough of that so that pretty much wraps it up ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you were successful in installing the Linux apps that I just showed you here. Remember, you have a Linux machine and so if there's other programs out there you want to install, do a Google search. There shouldn't be anything too peculiar or special just because it's the Chromebook. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to find a lot more um, apps and stuff that you can install on here and if you do, be sure to leave a comment on uh, what you did or what you installed and remember uh, add a comment to see if all of these programs that I install on here do indeed work. Um, be sure to subscribe because my last experiment that I'm going to do with this Chromebook is try to install Windows one last time doing some crazy custom firmware creation and uh, replacing and so I'm either going to brick and ruin my Acer C7 Chromebook uh, or it's going to be a great success. Uh, either way, I'm going to do it uh, so that you don't have to risk ruining your device. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.